Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Facebook Friday mixed with social marketing. Okay, so earlier today we had a typhoon, not a typhoon, a mess up with Facebook Live. We went live, we did our show, the audio got all screwed up, so I figured I'd re-record the show here in our office and uh, make it legit because I know this is some great content that I want to share with you guys. So today we're combining efforts and making one video, so if you get our newsletter and you're expecting two videos, this week you only get one. But this is probably a little bit better quality anyway. So as you probably can tell by the title, today we're talking about video, which is a great topic around here, and we're talking about video on LinkedIn. So here's the news. Um, you've always been able to post video to LinkedIn. You can upload it through like a YouTube um, post there and just share the link in there. You can obviously use Vimeo, things like that. But most recently, within the last week or so, Facebook, Facebook, I keep saying Facebook today, LinkedIn has actually released that they're introducing video into their platform. So the interesting thing is it only starts out with about 500 people. So if you don't have it yet, it's probably coming soon. If you do have it, get on top of it. You're one of 500 people in the whole world that actually have access to the LinkedIn video. So today I wanted to cover five uh, strategies that you can use LinkedIn video with your life, your business, and the strategies that you're trying to accomplish online. So. Let's just jump right into it. As you know, video is huge. Every platform is pushing video. You got Facebook Live, you've got Snapchat, you got Instagram Stories, now LinkedIn. If you're not on video, you need to get there. That's what I've been preaching over and over and over. You just need to do it. I was super uncomfortable with video at first. I had a camera with all the apps. I never used it. I wasn't a big believer in it, but I know that that's where the world's turning right now. Um, everybody just wants to see people. They don't want to read. It's just how it's going. So if you want to stay up and current and actually work with what social media platforms are pushing, you got to get comfortable with video. You might as well do it now while everyone's still trying to figure it out and still rough and holding their selfie stick and shaky and messing up and you can fit in with the crowd and then get better at it too as time goes on. So another interesting thing is we actually record every one of these shows with my iPhone. And while the quality is not amazing, it's actually pretty decent, but I wanted to try something new, and today we're actually filming it with a DLSR camera, so you probably notice a little bit different of a picture today. We're still in front of the green screen and in our office. Uh, so anyway, that's my quick plugs on some of the video things that I'm doing right now, and uh, let's just jump right into it. So we're gonna cover five tips, got my little cheat sheet here on how to use LinkedIn video with your profile and everything that you're doing on LinkedIn. So I've been kind of, down on LinkedIn uh, over the past few years. Several years ago, I actually was laid off from a position and I got on my ducks in a row, I updated my resume, got myself out there and realized LinkedIn was a big player back then. And so back then for me, it was an opportunity to put myself out there in hopes that I would get hired. I was on Monster, I was in all these, you know, barriahelpwanted.com type things, I was on Craigslist. I was trying to find a job however I could. This is back during the recession in 09 when nobody was hiring. And uh, as many of you know, I went a different route in life, but LinkedIn was kind of my, you know, get it on there, hopefully somebody finds me, and that's what uh, the purpose of LinkedIn was for, is really just to put your resume out in hopes that you got hired from a position or you could interview that way. Now it's totally evolved. It's content sharing, it's networking, it's connecting with other businesses that are similar to you, it's referring people. It's just a whole different hub of social media than I think it's ever moved before, and that's why they're trying to introduce this video element to it so that you can kind of be a market expert. So we talked about resumes. Resume is really the main feature of LinkedIn, I think, right now still. It may be changing as time goes on, but if you've noticed in the past, most people put their resume online, they type up a good summary about them, they explain their whole life in like 500 words or less, and they hope that somebody uh, likes and loves them and hires them from you know this content that you write. Well, the best thing about video is you guys get to see me for me. You get to see who I am, you get to see how I interact with myself and people and in front of the camera and that's the best way to really know who somebody is. Uh, a few weeks ago we talked about Snapchat actually helping McDonald's hire 250,000 people through a Snapchat uh, video. So you have 10 seconds to introduce yourself to McDonald's in hopes that they want to hire you. Obviously that's a different position than most people are looking for on uh, LinkedIn, but it still goes to show how important video is and people wanting to really just, I, I hate to say it, but judge who you are by the video that you see. So some people will probably love me on video, 
some people will probably hate me on video, but you might as well get to know me on video first before I spend a lot of time and get to that point and realize you don't like me later. So your resume, get to know um, how to use the video and get comfortable with it and then in an environment like this you can tell yourself and tell your story and who you are and why you do what you do. Get personal, talk about your school, talk about your background, your interests, the things that make you you. Um, there's actually a guy in my business network who does business videos and for a pretty reasonable price you can actually hire a videographer to come record you, you know, probably help give you some tips on how to smile and look and look pleasant to the camera and you can take that content and upload it to LinkedIn and have it be your first kind of business card if you will and people look for who you are on your LinkedIn profile. So. Video is great for the resume. Uh, the next one is experience. So we want to talk about stories of success. If you're in a career and you've had you know, 5, 10, 20 years of work, talk about the successes that you've enjoyed over that time. Um, you know, what have you done for your clients? What are some of the things that you've been able to accomplish in your working career? I think that you know, with a limited amount of space that you get on a resume, you usually get a little paragraph about that big to talk about one to 10 years of a job experience and what you've done for that company and all the growth that you've helped them accomplish. What if you had a video like this in a format where you could spend three to four minutes and making a very impactful video and saying, hey, I worked with company XYZ, we went from here and we went to there. You can show charts, you can show information, you can wow them, right? You can make them impressed and show how amazing you are by, by who you really are, by being me and personal. So talk about success stories and how you help somebody get from A to B and hopefully it's that way and not that way, right? Okay, testimonials from clients. This is a huge one. So let's say you're leaving a job on good terms and you're looking for a new one. Or let's say you're in a service industry and you help a lot of people. The best thing you can do is get a testimony from somebody who loves you and cares about you and wants to give you more business. Let's say you're a real estate agent, right? Because we talk about real estate agents a lot. And you help these guys buy or sell a home and they love you. Bring that camera guy back over there, record a 30 to 60 second testimonial, make it impactful and host it on your LinkedIn account. And so when new people go to research you, I read the other day that 70% of people will check out your LinkedIn account before they actually choose to work with you. So if they go there and they find these super happy clients that worked with you in the past and they said, man, he was incredible or she nailed it, she was out of this world, I definitely recommend working with you. They're probably gonna call you up and just give you an opportunity to work with them too. So a testimony is huge. It comes from the mouth of somebody else instead of you trying to talk about yourself, right? Instead of me bragging about who I am and all the good things that I do, let my clients do it for me. How cool is that? Okay, that's number three, testimonials from clients. Number four is blog and content. This is the opportunity for you to shine. So you're not bragging about yourself, but you're actually talking about all the experience that you have. So talk about industry updates. Talk about what you know about that market and the industry that you're in. Talk about the new things that are coming into the world in the industry that you work in. Again, if you're in real estate, talk about the market. Talk about interest rates. Talk about the inventory. If you're in a medical practice, talk about new um, procedures that are coming out, new medicine that can help people, new things that they've discovered. If you're in the car industry, talk about new cars that are coming out, and technology that's coming out, and what Tesla's doing with the Model 3, you know, things like that. Just be the forefront of education so that people know that you're the expert, they know that you're the top of your game, and you're not 10 years behind trying to figure things out. So show yourself off, be amazing in front of that camera, and people will trust you for it. And the cool thing too is that you don't have to just put one video up to tell the whole world about this thing. LinkedIn is a social media account. It's a way to share your content with the world. A lot of people are blogging on there. They're sharing articles every week on there. I was reading uh, LinkedIn definitely recommends that you post about 20 times a month. So if you look at it, Monday through Friday, that's five days. If you do that four weeks in a month, that's 20 posts. So find good, relevant articles. Find things that are new, that are happening, that you can share with your clients and your followers. And by being relevant and interesting and people coming to you, you're actually going to get a better reach on Google too. And so when people look for content about what you're sharing, you're going to pull up higher, much, much better reach than having to pay an SEO guy to put you on that front page. Okay. And then the last one is kind of interesting. It's the ask give. So think of this as more like a haves, uh, haves and wants kind of section, right? So let's say I, back to real estate, I keep talking about real estate, but let's say I'm a realtor and I'm working with my clients and they want to buy this house and they love the house but they hate the kitchen. So I can go onto LinkedIn, make a wants video and say, hey, I have clients who are buying this house. 
they want to remodel the kitchen, if you're a contractor, reach out to me. We'd love to work with you and get some bids on remodeling the kitchen. If you're a kitchen designer, Jane, come talk to me and help these guys realize how amazing this kitchen can be for them so that we can close on this house, right? So I'm reaching out to you to give you business to help my clients. On the other side of it, maybe I have something that I can give back to you. I mean, that kind of was a give, but it's also an ask. But anyway, think about ways that you can connect with people on LinkedIn, right? There's people looking for business there all the time. There's millions of people on LinkedIn. I don't know the exact number, I don't want to say it, but I know it's in the hundreds of millions of people that are on LinkedIn all the time, checking, updating, writing, curating content. If you've got something of value that you can share with that little community, that little world of millions of people, they're gonna soak it up and give it to you back. It's kinda like being part of a networking group. So find ways to give and you'll be able to receive. So those are my five tips. Again, let's recap them. Put your resume out there. Share your experience, past, uh, past success stories. Give testimonials, have your clients do that. Post content, and be sure to ask and receive and you're gonna win every single time. So again, currently, the video aspect of LinkedIn at this moment is not available to everybody. There's only 500 people in the world who actually have access to it, but it's gonna be rolling out to everybody soon. So be sure to update your LinkedIn app on your phone. It's gonna be rolling out to the desktop later. And record video, get it out there, make a professional, hire a video editor if you need to. If you need somebody, uh, reach out to me. I'm happy to make a recommendation for somebody who can record some awesome content for you. But anyway, thanks for tuning in. Again, this is kind of a weird show with a mix of two different episodes, but we hope you guys are well. Reach out to us for content that you want us to talk about in upcoming episodes. We're happy to get comments from you and ask question, or answer questions that you have. Again, thanks for following. My name is Eric with the Orange Stack. We'll catch you next week.